In the cosy corner of a sunlit living room, Gerald, a sprightly man in his sixties, chuckles as he reminisces about the simpler times of his youth. He leans forward, eyes twinkling with nostalgia, and begins, Back in my day when we said trans, we were talking about something very different. Like if you had a transistor radio, you were the coolest kid on the block. But now, they were trans could mean you're just a guy who really likes wearing his wife's dresses to the supermarket. Then Gerald picks up an old transistor radio, holding it aloft with a mock look of confusion, addressing the audience with a sly grin. Continuing with a jovial tone, Gerald delves deeper into the evolution of the term trans. I remember when trans was just short for transformer, you know, those things that changed voltage. Now I'm afraid to use the word transform around my toaster, for fear it'll start a debate at breakfast. Him holding up a toaster, he feigns nervousness, glancing around as if expecting the toaster to jump into an argument. The irony of technology and language evolution isn't lost on him, nor his amused viewers. Gerald's face lights up as he recounts another tale with his signature humour. And don't get me started on transition. It used to be, you'd transition from one job to another or maybe from your car to a bus because you missed your exit. Now if you transition, you might end up on a sports team you never imagined playing for. The scene shifts to Gerald donning a series of increasingly mismatched sports jerseys, each accompanied by a confused expression as he juggles a basketball, then a football, then a volleyball. Taking a more reflective stance, Gerald shares a common misunderstanding that resonates with many. I once told my mate, I'm transitioning to a new phone. And he looked at me like I'd just announced I was going to start a moon colony. Oh, so are you getting the new model or? He paused. Something else. I just wanted a phone with better battery life, not a new life. The camera pans to Gerald surrounded by various phones, each more technologically advanced than the last, his surprise growing with each new discovery. The humorous anecdotes continue as Gerald touches on daily terminology, his eyes widening in faux horror. And now, with all this, I'm afraid to even say transit, in case someone thinks I'm talking about more than just taking the bus to work. Better take the transit, I'll say. And suddenly everyone's looking at me like I've proposed a radical societal shift. He gazes out of a bus window, only for the bus to morph into a spaceship with Gerald now dressed in a spacesuit, utterly bewildered. Wrapping up his musings with a hearty laugh, Gerald offers sage advice to his fellow boomers. So here's my advice. If you're from my generation, when in doubt, just stick to transformer when you mean the electrical thing, and maybe avoid transition, unless you're really just talking about your commute or changing your socks. And for heaven's sake, if you're caught with a dress on by accident, claim it's transistor week at your house. Gerald's laughter rings out as the scene cuts to a title card. Gerald's guide to avoiding misunderstandings in the new age of transy.